Hello. Here you have the United States Green Party map. You can hover over the states, you can click into a state party, you can hover over the local parties and politicians and click into them. The ones with future events are marked orange. Uh, at the top there are banner ads. I invite you to click into the Howie banner ad and watch his presentation at the convention. The site is organized as a tree. You can think of it as a file system. It's actually on an object database and so it supports inheritance. Here we have the Howie Hawkins logo. If you click into a state such as Montana, they inherit. So most of the pages on this website inherit the Howie Hawkins logo, but not all. Let's take a look at California. They are the largest Green Party. Uh, they are a leader in technology and I'm very pleased to say they're the leading user of the software. So we can click into California. California has their own Green Party map. You can um, click into the individual local parties and local politicians. We'll do that in a minute, but first let's go up to the top. You can see they've installed their own logo, so this branch of the tree has their logo. And they've done this beautiful um, banner ad. See, we can hover over the banner ad, we can click into individual politicians. Um, what else do we have here? We have an ad menu. Uh, anybody can add a politician, add an organization, add an online event, add an in-person event. It doesn't get posted immediately. The editors get an email, they have to approve it, and then it gets published. Of course, if you're an editor and you post something, it does get approved. And here we have this very important volunteer button. So let me go, we have to log in to volunteer. It does it with Google sign in. Sorry if it takes a moment, you have to choose your person. Then it redirects you, and it signs you in. There we are. And suddenly, I have a lot more options, a lot more menu options here. So one of the things that I have is this um, links. One link doesn't matter much, but if you have a whole bunch of links, interesting things start to happen. Here's a branch of the tree on Defund the Police, uh, organized as a taxonomy. We can go up. Um, here is a beautiful thing I got on climate change. I've been looking for this for years. It's very hard to find good links. Everything's censored on the internet. So here we have a curated list of climate change links. It's a huge number of links. I definitely want to work with um, the young eco-socialists to organize this into a taxonomy. And then we have another one on Kamala Harris, too. She has a very interesting recent track record. We need to really create an internet database of her track record. Okay, back to the map. Those are the links. Um, we can navigate into the map. Let's take a look at Jake Tonkel. I hope he wins in San Jose. Come on, Jake. Oh, what am I doing this wrong? Sorry. Jake Tonkel. There we go. And we can click into Jake Tonkel. And if you scroll down on Jake Tonkel, you will see that he has an event scheduled an online internet event, and in that he has a campaign video. So here's his campaign video, but it doesn't have much description. So if we want to add more description, we have all these nice menus. There is a WYSIWYG menu, and with a little luck, there's some Lorem Ipsen, and we can bold it or italic or strike it through. Uh, we can increase the font size, we can save and view it, and you can see it's all there. But whoops, this is our production website, so we don't want that. But what the good content management systems do is they give you a history feature. So here we can go back, we can restore it, you can see and view, and now it's all back to where it was. Notice also that Jake, Jake's branch of the tree, he has his photo. This is the right thing for politicians to do, is to have their branch of the tree be a photo. Okay, let's see where we are. We're in the Howie Hawkins map server, the United States map, the Green Party of California, Jake Tonkel. Here's Jake Tonkel online meeting, and his campaign videos. We're six levels deep in the tree, but people, it's really easy to follow where we are. A basic principle in human factors is you should have no more than about seven items in a category. Um, in this case, we have a map with 50 states, but that's a two-dimensional image, so, so that's fine from a human factors perspective.
So six levels, uh, mostly seven items in a category, it comes to about 800,000 items. We can manage a huge quantity of information. We can have a large number of people cooperating to really publish good information so the voting public is educated on the issues. But the problem is we have a security problem. So how do we keep each, all of those people from stepping on each other? So here we have the Team Tonkel meetup. Jake Tonkel may be too busy to actually organize it himself, and so he can... Um, editors, there's editors. Um, he can assign an editor. Um, he can assign an editor, or he can even assign two editors to this branch of the tree, and they can then edit it. We're not actually going to save that, we'll just view it. And then the same thing work in, works, happens at the level of the state of California. Um, at the level of the state of California. And so they can assign, they can create a page for Jake Tonkel or for some other politician, they can approve it, and they can give him permissions. Now, if you go all the way up to the state of California, it's a little more complicated, because if you go down here and you look at all of their local lit parties and, and politicians, they have quite a few. And so what they, what they get to use is they get to use this handy-dandy manage menu. You can think of this as a file system browser. Um, it manages a tree of objects, and you can cut, rename, retitle, cut, copy, paste, delete. Um, but it's actually, it's not, it's not a file system. It's a tree of objects. Um, a, a, a file cannot have children, whereas an object can have children. Um, a file or a folder does, doesn't have a title. This does have a title. So here we have a class name. It's a little bit different. But basically, when they're managing California, they can click into a city, into a group, organization, or politician. They can edit it. They can go back and save it and view it. Let's go back up to the state party of California. Now, so the problem is you've got a bunch of people working on a website. How do you know what's going on? So here we have this progress page. And you can see who is, recently who has edited um, the added or edited content and what changes they've made. And you can click into the particular page. Let's go back up to the national map. Again, you can look at the progress on the whole nation. It's much, much more active. And of course, the most important thing is you want to use your volunteers. Um, volunteers. The Democrats and the Republicans have big money, but what we have is volunteers. So not only do you, can people submit to be a volunteer, we get an email, but then you can see who the most recent volunteers are, follow up, contact them, make sure that the email was responded to. So there you have it, Green Party Maps. Thank you very much.